Well, UIW sure has played a lot of football this year. Remember, the 2020 season got kicked to the spring. Eric Morris's team, however, made a huge leap this season, winning nine ball games, winning a conference championship, and now headed to the postseason for the first time on an automatic bid. Coach Morris is already the school's all-time winning as coach, and he was kind enough to share some of his team's story with us this week and how they got to this point. Yeah, we knew we had the talent. Now we have a couple key, you know, uh, parts on this team with some transfers playing for us right now. Um, so it's a nice mix. And, and so didn't know that, um, that, you know, all everything would come together like it has, but knew we had, you know, a, a chance if we could kind of, you know, stay healthy, keep some key guys healthy. And, and the guys have done a great job and the coaches of buying in, um, you know, this is as close knit of a group as I've ever coached. I mean, I think they truly enjoy coming to work every day. They truly enjoy practicing, preparing. They love one another. And I think it shows up. We've won a lot of games, close games. Um, where these guys believe. And and that's part of uh, the thing that you want as a coach is, is for them to believe in one another, believe in the coaches and vice versa. And I think that's when special things happen in team sports. You could easily be sitting here undefeated. I mean, does any of that eat at you that you've been in, you know, your two losses were one score games? Yeah, every day it does. And so I look at those things and one of them, you know, first game of the year, we go on the road, fly up, uh, to Ohio and, and losing overtime a game that, you know, I think if we play that team 10 more times, we beat them 10 times. Uh, just let one slip away. But I think we learned a lot from those games as well. And, and this is a team we've, you know, con consistently preached the growth mindset of, of learning not only from what we're doing well, but learning from, from our mistakes. And so who knows, maybe if we would have won those two games, we would have slipped up in another one. Uh, if we didn't learn and grow from it. So I do love the way how resilient they are and they keep fighting week in, week out. What's the process been like, you know, not only trying to accrue and accumulate wins this year, but have some sustainability that, you know, this is just the beginning of what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying to build. Yeah, that's the hardest thing in coaching, I think, is to sustain something, though. You, you build something, and and but just these kids leave each and every year, and so you have to continue to recruit. You got new guys coming in and out of buildings. You know, you have coaches that, that get different jobs, and so um, it's, a, it's a revolving door in college football with kids coming in and out. The transfer portal something that's newly added to, to what we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and so um, – but the one thing that hasn't changed is is that you got to build relationships with these kids. You got to love them. You got to coach them hard. You got to make sure they're accountable. And so uh, that's something that I enjoy. I enjoy putting that all together, and um, and then just watching them succeed has been a ton of fun. But I think our brand has grown so much in the last four years since I've been here. You know, um, you know, kids want to come here. Our, our um, our visibility in the state of Texas, you know, when we first started going out recruiting my first year here, not many people in the Metroplex Houston knew where UIW was. And now we walk in, people are fired up saying congratulations on this and that. And, and you know, being able to beat Texas State first FBS win program history this year. So I think, you know, it's been a slow, steady grind, uh, but everything seems to be trending in the right direction right now. What are some of the challenges that you guys have had to overcome as a program? And has it been easier this year, at least, you know, trying to get on the field, do what you did and do what you've done, as opposed to what you were probably trying to navigate through last year. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing, you know, that we have to deal with here on a day to day basis is is just our facilities right now. You know, I think we're so new uh, to this and making the transition into Division One. You know, um, we haven't had the time to kind of catch up and and, um, you know, we got some things here that, that we would like to have more, but, you know, that'll come. I know our administration's doing a great job and has plans, you know, to build a bunch of new things around here, which we're fired up about. And I've said all along, you know, never complain about what we don't have. Uh, if we build it, they will come and, and we'll get bigger and better things. And so I think just not, not paying attention to the things we don't have, but really focusing on what we do have. And, um, and making everything a positive situation, going out there with a smile on our face every day and, and competing uh, competing every day with ourselves and, and then within the conference. Obviously, you're an offensive-minded guy. I mean, can you kind of break it down in you know, a simple way what your overall philosophy is and you know, how you like to attack defenses and why what it is that you do seems to work so well? First and foremost, you know, we like to score touchdowns. Um, always say we don't like first downs. We like touchdowns. And so, um, you know, we, we pride ourselves on taking what the defense gives us. 
Um, you know, I, I grew up kind of in the air raid system, Mike Leach, uh, Cliff Kingsbury, people just want to throw it all over the, the yard. And so we've changed that model a little bit. You know, I think that, that we've really committed to, to having a good, strong run game. And I think that showed up in some games this year, you know, where we might have been off a little bit passing here or there. Um, and then we'd make the defense respect everything. So, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves on taking what the defense gives us. We like to play extremely fast, have fun with it, be physical, um, you know, put our players in space um, and let them be electric out there. And, um, and then, you know, you see some razzle dazzle every once in a while, you know, some trick plays, let the kids, I mean, they're 18 to 22 year old kids. And so they like to have fun with it at the same time. Well, Coach Morris has ties to both Cliff Kingsbury, you remember him, the former New Braunfels star, who's now the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals, and Chiefs QB Patrick Mahomes. And we are going to bring you the insights from Coach Morris on both of those fellows later this week. But we are back to wrap up tonight's Max Sports right after this.